scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Open down my eyes, the Bible declares, that I may behold wondrous things from out of thy law. Are you praying? Let it be from the depth of your heart. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. The Bible declares there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. It says, but the end thereof are the ways of death. It is the Holy Spirit who sustains the ability to guide men into all truth. It says, when he, the spirit of truth is come, he shall guide you into all truth he shall guide you guide you guide you step by step he leads me and i will follow him all of my days as confused as i may look step by step you are leading me and we will follow you all of my days The Bible says, and your ear shall hear a voice saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. And if you are foolish enough to follow, he promises you that you will find rest. There is rest in his leadership. When the Holy Ghost leads us, the Lord is my shepherd, he says, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. The Bible says he leads me before the quiet waters and he restores my soul. Then he guides me along the path of righteousness for his name's sake. He does it for his name's sake. He does it for his reputation. He does it as a responsible father, as a responsible creator. Listen to me, people of God, it pays to respect the leadership of the Holy Spirit. You may not look like it, but if you can submit to the leadership of the Holy Spirit, the rabbi of the ages, he's a master at leading men to the place of destiny. In the midst of the confusion, he guides you. He leads you until you find a heaven. Your life becomes a sign and a wonder at the instance of his leadership. He's worth your attention. He leads by his word. He leads by his voice. So every time we gather like this, listen to me. We're not just here to honor a program or to listen to a man. More than that, we are here as proof of our hunger for his leadership. That one moment of a genuine encounter with his word when that word comes as light it is able to take you to realms unimagined 
this is true. This is not a sermon. God is able to lead men to the place of destiny. Otherwise, why is he God? He's able to lead us. He's able to guide us. Our assignment is to trust his leadership and then to submit to his principles. It is a foolish student who argues with a lecturer. When he guides you, don't change the formula. Be foolish enough to respect what he gives you to the latter. And all that will be left at the other side of your obedience is a sign and a wonder. A tearsome testimony. You will be the first one who even is afraid of your own testimony. It is true. I believe him. I believe his leadership. He does not waste our time now. You have given your attention to things and people of lesser value. It pays to pay attention to him. Give him a chance to turn your life into a sign and a wonder. Don't sit arguing, wondering, can God do something about my life? This is the ancient of days. He is a master at making men. It's not only the heaven and the earth that he makes. He's not only the maker of heaven and earth. He's a maker of men. Ancient words ever true. They're changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. So let the ancient words. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. It says, To stand in the way and to ask for the old path. Please look up. It says, Wherein is the good way and walk daring, and you shall find rest for your soul. But here is the response that people will usually give. We will not walk therein. We went to school. We have our own formula around life. We've been intelligent. We are well traveled. The Holy Spirit comes knocking, beckoning on as many people who can pay attention to him. I will turn you into a sign and a wonder, he says. It's up to you to believe me enough. Take the risk. Believe me and blame me if I don't make you. My spirit is fired up tonight. We'll have a few minutes. But please pay attention to that which I'll be sharing with you tonight. I prayed to God bowing my knees this evening and I said, Lord, world over people will be following this conference, be following this meeting. I pray that they would not only follow just to honor a program, but that they will listen to be transformed. Listen to be transformed. Listen to be transformed. You can listen just for information. You can listen because your, your ear happens to be around where sound is being made. But you can listen intentionally for the purpose of transformation. He says, meditate on these things. Paul was teaching his son Timothy. He says, give yourself wholly to them leaves you with an assurance that your profiting will appear unto all he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully are we blessed the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom i want to share with you two very deep revelations tonight that I believe in the name of Jesus will truly be a blessing to us and will open us up to tremendous dimensions of God's power and grant us the fortitude to produce uncommon, unusual, extraordinary results in the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Praise the Lord. And whilst the word is coming tonight, it will be as it were in Acts chapter 10, that while the Holy Ghost yet spake this, while Peter yet spake these things, the Holy Ghost fell. I want you to be sensitive not only to hear, but to also receive. I believe that there are engracings that will be happening whilst we're listening inside all of the overflows down to the basement outside. Let your attention be wrapped on the word as it comes. Those following from any nation, just pay attention, lend your destiny this time. 
and let God work wonders in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Please write this down. God is a God of patterns. I'd like to start tonight by reminding us and for some bringing it as a new information to your Christian experience that God is a God of patterns. A pattern is a modus operandi. A pattern is a prescribed or authorized methodology. It's a formula. The means of achieving a desired result predictably is called a pattern. God is not only a great God. God is not only a mighty God. He is a God of patterns. Oftentimes we'll see in scripture that he hardly does the same thing twice. When he starts a process, he will reveal it as a dimension of himself and then he will surround it with a spiritual pattern for its continuity. Are we together now? He made the first man, he made the second, the first man and the first woman and never had to put his hand to mold and make a man again. He designed a pattern in them for the continuity of the human race. Are we together now? He did the first planting, the first watering and created a pattern around agriculture that makes for supplies. God is a God of patterns. Patterns are the correct way things are done. Patterns. They are the pathways that guarantee predictable outcomes. That means that it is on the strength of patterns that our Christian experiences find predictability and even continuity. In the dealings of God with men, you may want to listen and then write. In the dealings of God with men, please listen. We are not at liberty to invent our way of knowing and following God. When it has to do with walking with God, creativity is not needed. It is obedience and surrender. It's when it has to do with legislating on behalf of the kingdom, then you can bring in your creativity. But as far as following God is concerned, you need obedience and adherence. Men are not at liberty to invent their way of walking with God. There is a prescribed way to walk with God in order to get results and then in order to leave a foot a divine pattern has been adhered to. Success is proof that a divine pattern has been adhered to. Blessings to you, Minister Dunsin. Thank you. I love you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Success at any level is proof that a divine pattern has been adhered to. Failure is also proof that a divine pattern has been ignored, violated, or not thoroughly followed. I'll come again. Failure is proof that a divine pattern has been ignored way he is not only truth he is not only life he is the way are we together now in Genesis chapter 4 probably the first authentic representation of a man's willful violation of God's pattern outside of the garden Genesis chapter 4 please we'll read very quickly the first seven verses the bible says and adam knew his wife eve and she conceived and bare cain and said i have gotten a man from the lord and she again bare his brother abel and abel was a keeper of sheep the bible says but cain was a tiller of the ground follow the story verse 3 it says and in the process of time it came to pass that cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the lord so he's talking about offerings giving five verse four says and abel he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and the fat thereof and then the bible makes a very interesting statement he says and the lord had respect regard unto abel and to his offering first the man then his activity the bible says but unto cain and to his offering he had not respect as a result Cain was very wrought and his countenance fell. 
please keep verse 5 very interesting statement there are consequences for violating divine patterns there are consequences for being and living in ignorance this is one of it frustration your christian experience becomes a plethora of frustrations from one circle of frustration to the other cain was sad and angry why because his life was not producing the kind of result he wanted verse 6 and the lord said unto cain why art thou wrought why art thou angry and why is thy countenance fallen verse 7 is a very powerful instruction if thou doest well that means if you do what you do according to pattern shall thou not be accepted and if you do not do well be careful your frustration will lead you to a point where sin lies at your door frustration that is prolonged has a consequence it will push you into all kinds of things bitterness envy anger it says came the cure for all these things that are happening to you is to understand divine patterns because that outcome can also be a possibility in your life sin lieth at your door and unto thee shall be his desire and thou shalt rule over him when you read the other part of the story the bible says cain killed abel divine patterns if violated have severe consequences we're dealing with the mysteries of the kingdom but it's important for us to understand because you see results in this kingdom do not just happen please understand this results are very methodical results are predictable because they they happen at the instance of spiritual patterns results are not an issue of opinions they are not just an issue of um you know sociological or tribal or whatever affiliations whoever can subscribe to that pattern there is a guarantee there is an investment of god's integrity upon his patterns if you're with me please say amen, amen. exodus chapter 25 moses receives an instruction to build a tabernacle in the wilderness we'll read verse 9 and then we'll jump to verse 40 exodus chapter 25 it says according to all that i show you moses is receiving an instruction now after the pattern of the tabernacle it says and the pattern of all the instruments thereof even so thou shalt make it so to build the tabernacle in the wilderness moses was taken in the spirit to see the tabernacle in heaven and he said make sure you sustain that same pattern and then verse 40 says and look that thou make them after their pattern which was shown unto thee on the mount let me tell you this this is very powerful because this is a principle that is also used in witchcraft and occultism i'm not here to, we're not discussing demonology tonight but let me explain something when someone goes to meet a herbalist please look up and says i want to take a charm or i want to introduce a spirit to my house do you know what happens the victim does not even know what is happening they conjure spirits and those spirits reveal the pattern that simulates their current environment they want to come to your house they can't come to your house till your house looks like where they currently are so the native doctor he sustains intelligence through divination by conjuring all the substances spiritually and physically that can simulate the current habitation of that spirit are we together you take a token of that atmosphere to your house now whether the spirit is in your house or where it was it does not know the difference again because whether it's in your house or it's in that place the pattern that makes for his presence is already there are you getting what i'm saying now hmm. this is how it works so god is saying if you want me to feel at home in that wilderness you must be able to reproduce a pattern where there is almost no difference whether i'm sitting on my throne or i'm with you in that wilderness moses if it's my presence you want to secure subscribe to my patterns are we together now hmm. exodus chapter 40 we we'll read verse 16 then we jump to 33 to see the miracle when we adhere to patterns exodus 40 
Let's start from verse 16, then we jump to 33. Please give it to us. Exodus 40, 16. Thus did Moses, according to all that the Lord had commanded him, so did he. Watch this. 33. This was the last instruction being adhered to now. And he read up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up the hanging of the court gate. So Moses finished the work according to pattern. The result, 34. The Bible says, and then a cloud. Can you imagine that God was watching and never came until the last peg was put according to pattern. Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle 35 the Bible says and Moses was not able to enter the tent of the congregation because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle spiritual patterns there is a pattern for genuine salvation is that true you don't get saved the way you want there is a prescribed pattern for instance, Romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10 gives us the biblical pattern, the pathway to receiving Jesus. If you receive him any other way, you can be sure according to scripture you are not saved. Are we together? You can verify whether an individual is saved. Not just by looking at the individual's personality. You check if the pattern that leads to salvation was adhered to. There is something in um, when those who are in manufacturing there is something called quality control. Am I correct? Quality control insists that the patterns are kept to the letter. So when the products are made, they pass through a quality control department and their assignment is to verify. Was everything done and made correctly? They can detect defections and then send it back and say, no, 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 we cannot send this because this is an indictment on our reputation and our image patterns the spiritual quality control systems that guarantee that what comes out of it has the signature of god the glory of god there is a pattern for spiritual growth we don't just grow anyhow in this kingdom there is a methodical spiritual approach that was given to the saints that if you administer it like a drug to any spiritual patient there is a guarantee we have medical personnel here, we have doctors, and regardless the individual, in most cases when an individual says, I have malaria or I have whatever sickness, the, there, are, there are drugs that have already been designed. Is that true? The doctor or the manufacturer does not have to be there with you. Provided it pass from them or recommended by their intelligence, they know it will work for you. So you don't need to scratch your head wondering, will this work? It's been tested. There is a pattern for spiritual growth. You can know you are growing, not just because you've stayed long in church, not just because you have appointments in church. You can know you are growing if and when you subscribe to the spiritual pattern. And according to scripture, the pattern that is made for growth is called doctrine. If you are not receiving the administration of doctrine, the, the possibility for growth is not there. Regardless where you are, doctrine is the course curriculum that builds the believer into maturity. Are we blessed? There is a pattern for church growth. For instance, a ministry does not just grow. There is a spiritual pattern that makes it happen. A company does not just grow. A business does not, not grow. No, there are patterns for it. One of the keys that control it, for instance, is I, if I be lifted up from the earth, it says I will draw men. So the more you hide behind the veil and you allow Jesus to be seen and to be lifted up, there is a promise that he will draw men to himself. There is a pattern for wealth and abundance. Takes more than desire takes more than business, takes more than investments, takes more than a job to be transgenerationally blessed. There is a spiritual pattern. There is an economic system in this kingdom by which the saints rise. It's not subject to, it has no prejudice attached to it. That whoever like Cain receiving a warning from God, whoever can subscribe to it with understanding, inevitably 
will emerge carrying that testimony. There is a pattern for building your faith. If your faith is small, if your faith is weak, you are violating a spiritual pattern that makes for the development of your faith. The Bible says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But faith does not just grow by hearing alone. But ye beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith. You have to know how it comes. You have to know how it grows. You have to know how it is administered. Is God blessing us tonight? There is a pattern for the anointing. This probably is one of the sincere desires for many people, especially in the body of Christ. Do you know, respectfully speaking, probably eight or ten out of people who come uh, seeking prayer, especially those in ministry, what they really want, and, and, and they are very sincere. They will tell me, Apostle, what I desire is the anointing. I want the anointing is in an unusual way, in an unusual degree. Very sincere desire, but there is a pattern. Just because it comes from heaven does not mean it comes anyhow. Even in heaven, there are patterns. You don't walk into the throne room just because Jesus is there. No, there are patterns. You never find angels just roaming around the throne room because it's, it, it's no, 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 no. There is an order. There is an ordinance. There are patterns. Remember, Satan is not there. The construction of heaven was done with a pattern. The names of the 12 apostles being the foundation itself. There is a way the anointing comes. There is a way the anointing increases. There is a way the anointing is administered. Just having a desire does not necessarily bring the anointing. There are different levels of the anointing. There are different dimensions of the anointing. Please pay attention. Just because you enjoy a dimension of the anointing does not mean it can do everything in your life. No. Are we together? Spiritual patterns. There is a pattern for activating favor in your life. Favor with God and favor with men. Luke 2.52. The Bible declares that Jesus increased. So we can increase in wisdom, in stature, and the Bible says in favor with God and with men. If you have favor with God alone, like you may have heard me say, you will have encounters, you will have visions, but you will really suffer as far as this life is concerned. You need favor with men. Favor does not just happen. I think one of the misunderstood subjects, not the only one, but one of the many misunderstood subjects in the body of Christ is the subject of favor. For a very, very long time, respectfully speaking, we thought that favor just happens just like that. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. There is an intentional formula. For many years, we kept calling breakthrough favor. If it happens only once, it's not favor. It must be repeated to be favor regardless the surrounding circumstances proverbs 13 15 the bible says good understanding giveth favor good understanding that is the mother that bests this child called favor it says transgression is also a pregnant woman that can give birth to something called hardship hardship does not just happen it is a direct product of violating certain laws Good understanding giveth favor. But the way of the transgressor, the violator of patterns is hard. There is a pattern for building and maintaining relationships. They don't just happen. Is that true? Amos chapter 3 and verse 3 for instance, it says, Can two walk together except they be agreed? The word agreed means um, compatible, similarity in viewpoints. That he that wants friends, your fools shall be destroyed. Do not be deceived, the Bible declares. It said, good company. There is a pattern for a model home. It does not just happen. Psalm 112. 
blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. He said his seed shall be mighty upon earth. He says the generation of the upright shall be blessed. The generation, not just the children, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches, the next verse says, shall be in his house, and yet his righteousness endures forever. There is a pattern for restoration. There is a pattern for restoration. The possibility of recovery is a reality and, and gone can come back. I prophesied as I was commanded Ezekiel 37 and he said there was a... Are we together? Yes. There is a pattern for exemption. It can come upon you and make you to testify that there is a lifting up. Is it in your Bible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That a thou behold the reward of the wicked. These are patterns. It is the presence of work of victory if and only when you understand the patterns that this life demands. Safe, but you can have abundant life. Hmm. Are we blessed? He says, I am come, the thief cometh not, John 10, 10, but for to steal, have abundant life. Life overflowing, some versions will say. You only succeed in this kingdom. To the degree to which you build according to pattern. Please pay attention. The Lord is edifying us tonight. I can trust the works of my hands. I can trust my tomorrow. Not just because I'm the one leaving it out. But because of the patterns I know I am following. If you are not following divine patterns, there is no guarantee for success. Even if it looks successful, you will be surprised at the instance at which it will change. There is a way that seemeth right. Seemeth right means there is some ray of hope as you look at it. But it's at the end you will know you have been wasting your time. Write this down. Building according to pattern guarantees three things. Very quickly. Building according to pattern guarantees three things. Number one, the glory of God. The manifestation of the glory of God. As we read earlier on in Exodus chapter 40, 16 and then 33 to 35. Building according to pattern secures and guarantees the glory of God. The manifest presence of God. Every time the glory of God shows up in a place in a life, in a ministry, in a family, it comes as an attestation, as a validation that divine patterns have been followed. Please listen carefully. You will never experience the glory of God in your life until divine patterns are kept. Hmm. So if I see the favor of God in my life, if I see extraordinary results in my life, they come not just in honor to my prayer and my request alone. They come as tokens of validation. Proofs that I have walked in keeping with the divine patterns that make for these possibilities. You must trust God for grace to stop shadow boxing. God by this truth is bringing us to a point of mastery where there can be predictability to your Christian experience. Divine patterns securing the glory of God. Moses, you want to see my glory in that tabernacle in the wilderness? There is a way that you can engage my patterns and you will see my glory. Testimonies that happen in church every week is more than just the anointing of a man. There are patterns that are followed. You see, let me tell you this. Creation was designed to honor these patterns. Are you aware of that? That as have hazard as life and living looks, they were designed. It's like they are codes of possibilities. Creation will remain disobedient to you until they find you walking in keeping with this pattern. There are enough men to favor you, but they will not come until the pattern that attracts favor is kept. You will be surprised how easy it is for you to be lifted and yet you remain on the ground for a long time. But the day you find the key, then Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 becomes your testimony. 
and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them, not some, all them that looked upon her to the point where in verse 17 even the king could not resist that charm like grace the bible says the king loved esther above all the women she obtained grace and favor in his sight my head thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. And I am anointed with fresh oil. I raised this song because I just saw a jar. I just saw a jar with oil dripping on it. I don't know who that grace is for but whilst you are sitting i stretch my hands in the name that is above all names i just spoke about this esther anointing and i saw a jar that's why i raised that song father i don't know how many people here who must drink of this grace but i stretch my hands in the name of jesus and by the spirit of faith may that unction come upon your life now may that grace come upon your life now please sit down the proof of favor is not money no the proof of favor is the hearts of men when god gives you the heart of men you are really favored are we blessed we must become as i would always say spiritual archaeologists like the magi look into the sky to discern signs what is responsible for results? What is responsible for lifting? I spent my life searching these mysteries of the kingdom, trying to understand the patterns that connect to results. Not wanting to live my life shadow boxing and guessing. There has to be a way out. Please help those who start running now under the anointing. I just saw a vision and I just saw like, it's like light just falling on people. This is what I'm saying. Just help them. We'll continue the teaching, but I just saw this in the spirit. It's, it's, it's an impartation. God is bringing that grace. Please help them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yahweh. 18. 18 people. This is what I'm saying. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Oh yeah yeah say Oh yeah yeah Yahweh Oh yeah yeah say Thou anointest my head with oil and my cup, my destiny, run it over, run it over. I continue to pray this, but I want you to bring this set of people out who are still preaching. There is an unction for speed that is coming on people right now. They will begin to run by the Spirit of God. The Lord is breaking circles. These are patterns. Bring them out. Speed to your feet, giving you acceleration in life, acceleration in destiny. Please help them in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them, I want to speak over their life. We're still teaching. You came to church. This is the house of God, the gates of heaven. I decree and declare speed speed to destinies speed to men i shift you acceleration 10 years in one please believe it believe it believe it it says if you believe you will see the glory of god speed and acceleration to your life in the name of jesus the christ of god in the name of jesus the christ of god all the overflows 
outside following from any nation i decree and declare speed to your destiny speed to your destiny encounter that grace that shift men encounter that grace that can shift businesses speed to your christian experience pray in the spirit in one minute receive it for your life father in the name of jesus acceleration by the spirit for my destiny Shabbatis, kata pas kata bakato sabretaskia, shagata bakata koto prontos koto bakata. I will hasten my word. I will hasten my word. I will hasten my word to perform. I will hasten my word to perform. I will hasten my word. Give speed to my speakings. Give speed to my prophecies. For all those who are out and under the anointing, I declare the same way the Holy Ghost located you. I declare speed, speed with results. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Some of you are representing families. Some of you are representing ministries. You are representing businesses. May that grace speak for you. No power in existence will stop you from walking in this anointing. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Listen, speed is one of the dominion systems over time because the unit of destiny is time and everything that lacks time, speed is more than progress. Speed, dominion over time. In the name of Jesus, let it be. We declared by the spirit of grace you came to church to encounter grace and we prophesy by the god of heaven just like the dear man of god minister no sasang now your way is his way to act to, to bring speed to our lives everything standing your way not allowing you to experience speed i lift my hands to the god of our covenant and i declare it must clear out of the way right now for you it must clear out of the way now for you every enchantment every divination every covenant activities of familiar spirits sitting on your destiny i will not let you move in the name of jesus i move it for your sake i move it for your sake I move it for your sake. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Your hey, hey, is your name, breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your grace upon me, breathe. Just breathe your grace upon me, breathe. Your hand, my head is your name. hallelujah who is Jane I'm hearing a name Jane who is that Jane will be seated shortly 
this person I'm seeing is like an elderly woman. No, this is not a young lady, but I'll pray for you. I will pray for you. But please come. Just a few minutes will be back seated. Is God wasting your time? Sir, look at me. This man, look at me. The chains that hold the works of your hands, I bring judgment upon them now. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, I release you by the spirit of grace. Go and return with testimonies. Your life will so shift you will wonder and marvel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you, ma? I hope you're not embarrassed that I'm calling you. In the name of Jesus, there is a name above all names. There is a name above all names. Madam, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I declare may grace come upon you and I release you by this, by this shout. In the name of Jesus, step into the realms of favor for you and for your family. For you and for your family. My dear, I remove that. I'm seeing something that looks like a crown, but it's not of God. I remove it from your head now, this lady out of her life now in the name of Jesus Christ I hear the chains falling where are you coming from where are you coming from Abuja, Abuja here yes, sir. did you come alone yes sir come I want to pray for you look at me just calm down look at me I want to pray for you two things number one god is going to take something out of your stomach are you hearing what i'm saying that demonic thing that is growing to become a fibroid god wants to cause it now number two i want to pray for you i'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit and i'm seeing a woman but i'm not seeing a face this is something that has covered your glory i want to pray for you i use as a point of contact if there is anyone here the devil has covered your glory you are among men that can give you visibility but something is covering you i bow my knees to the god of heaven and i tear that fell into pieces i tear that fell into pieces i tear i tear that fell into pieces hallelujah Let it be so for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who have come out, I decree and declare. For whatever reason you came out, let there be miracles for you. Supernatural miracles. In Jesus' name. What do you do, sir? Huh? Businessman, sir. Businessman. I have an oil and gas firm, sir. In the just, I just asked you what you do. I want to pray for you. Thank you, sir. I'm seeing you climb a ladder that breaks and brings you down. Look at me. I don't know you all, sir, but I want to pray for you. Here, God makes men. He doesn't just bring made people. He makes men. Stand up. What will happen to you between now and August will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. I release that grace. Go back to the oil and gas sector with that grace. Go and excel. Shift systems and excel. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is God that causes men to advance. Nobody has the power in himself to advance. Please hear me. It is not within the power of men to move beyond certain points. Mama, the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Let Mama come. This is a whole family. I don't know what is it, but God is visiting this family. All of you come out. I'm seen by the Spirit. I don't know you. Are you alone, Ma? Look at me. Yes, I'm alone. Where are your children? One is in London, the other one's in Abujai. Please shift, let me talk to Mama. Mama, I want to pray for you. Shame and reproach. I'm saying it in the open. Whatever wants to turn your children to become instruments of shame and reproach, I stand by the God of heaven, I cancel it right now. I cancel it right now. In the name of Jesus. Number two, Mama, 
you don't have any business with dead people coming to you in dreams while you are sleeping i declare in the name of jesus every covenant that connects you to the grave i'm using mama to pray for anyone here the voice of the grave is calling you or calling your loved ones you are seeing the faces of dead men in the name of jesus i break that connection forever i break that connection forever for the living and the dead have nothing in common i separate you by the blood of the eternal covenant Who is Deborah? Deborah. I'm hearing a name, Deborah. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? And if our God is for us, then Hallelujah. Just let me two minutes, we are done. Two of you, the power of God is going to come on you. Eh? I'll pray for everybody, but I can imagine that there are so many Deborahs. You can just stand. I know all of you are Deborahs, but we'll just pray. Sometimes God just does these things. But there are two of you, right now as I'm speaking, the angel of the Lord is pouring oil on your head. And the power of God is going to come upon you. There are activations happening to two of you. It's not something you can stand. We're talking of the power of the Holy Spirit here. Two of you. May the sound of reproach help her not be heard in your life again. That lady under the anointing made the sound of reproach from you and your family not be heard anymore. I pray for all of you who have come out by this prophetic word. In the name of Jesus, go back and experience victory. Go back and experience victory. God who located you is also giving you a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where are you from? My sister. Where are you from? Kaduna Road, sir. Huh? Kaduna Road. I come from Kaduna Road. From where? Kaduna Road. No, no, no. Where are you from? State from of Kogi origin. State, Kogi. I want to pray for you. That everything that is not the planting of God, huh? In the name, I'm not a prophet of doom. Don't be afraid. I decree and declare. Anything that wants to bring you down and bring your family to the grave, I cancel it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who are out, may the Lord grant you victory in Jesus' name. Please go back to your seat rejoicing very quickly. Hallelujah. I don't know if it's the mother or the person who is here. Your son has written jam, jam, seven times, no admission they try and try and nothing happens i don't know if the individual is here or i just want to break that that demonic hold right now and then we'll sit down and listen number two well this this may not be something i'll say publicly but we have to pray i'm seeing a politician in serious trouble we have to pray we have to pray the spirit of the waster in the name of jesus provided you are under this influence we declare that for the sake of the grace and the mercy of god everything that wants to cause the sword you do not live by the sword and you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus christ the cause of the waster will follow them in the name of jesus who is the christ of god the cause of the waster will follow them in the name of jesus can we sit down to continue? Please sit down. God bless you. I rebuke that spirit, that lady. Let me pray for her. The lady on green there. Yeah. I command that devil, let her go now. Release her destiny, give her peace in Jesus' name.
God bless you. You can take them, including this one now, in Jesus' name. Now, please pay attention. We are discussing something here. Spiritual patterns guarantee the glory of God. Every time his glory is revealed, it is proof that his patterns have been kept. Number two, compliance to spiritual patterns guarantees sustainable results. Sustainable results. Matthew chapter 7, please. Give us verse 24 to 27. Matthew chapter 7. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, the Bible says, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. Reading to 27. And the rain descended. Listen carefully. And the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house. Everything that happened to the other fellow building on sand happened to this same man. The Bible says, and it fell not. Why? For it was founded upon a rock. 26 and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand last verse and the rain descended the floods came the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell here's what the bible says and great was the fall of it you must trust god for grace to get out of these balloon results up today down tomorrow are we together now the bible declares that the path of the just can be as a shining light when it is not built by patterns it will not last i assure you no matter how flamboyant it looks don't trust it because of the aesthetics trust it because of the patterns that when the rain comes when the wind blows it will stand because it was built upon the rock ministry let it be built upon patterns there are many people for instance who start ministry just because they heard the voice of god <laughs> that looks very spiritual but it's a dangerous motivation for ministry god told me go and start ministry that's wonderful so why did you start the ministry i know that god told me i am sending you to heal the sick I am sending you to be an evangelist the voice of God must submit to the patterns for church growth otherwise you will be surprised that even though it is God sending you you will suffer as if it's not his voice is not in your life are we together there are many sincere people who are under all kinds of limitations in life because they exalted prophecy they exalted the speakings of spirits. They exalted the advices of men. Even well-intentioned people above the patterns of God. Hear me. If you never hear any audible voice and all you do is submit to the integrity of scripture, you will have the result that is greater than one who hears every day and does not walk in the patterns. Listen to what I'm telling you. Africa is a place of a lot of spirituality delving now into superstition. Our strength is based on the numerous noise of voices, sincere and insincere, all together. None of them, let me tell you, no matter how well-meaning, sustains the ability to keep a man. You must subscribe to the patterns. No matter who prophesies or blesses your business, it does not sustain the ability to produce results transgenerationally until in addition to that voice and that prophecy, you subscribe to the pattern that makes for longevity of anything. Are we together? Patterns are powerful. sustainable results fruits that abide you want to build something that lasts please look up you want to be in ministry or in business or in whatever endeavor you are involved in for a very long time leaders are intentional people they are men of mastery nobody wins the olympic by mistake
when you have the patterns you cannot only perpetuate the results you can reproduce them anywhere regardless it is true it is true patterns give you sustainability look up please and predictability to your results when you are up today and down tomorrow favor today disfavor tomorrow laughing today smiling tomorrow there's too much amateurism and guesswork in your work you have to back up and begin to study the patterns that bring predictability to your life are we together for instance using business people as a case study there are many wealthy and blessed people today who rose to the ranks of, of financial abundance through knowledge they can reproduce and perpetuate their results regardless the geographic region regardless the policies surrounding them because they built by light there are others who respectfully speaking maybe just looted from the treasury even though they have it they can't perpetuate it they can't reproduce it because it did not come through understanding hallelujah god is giving you predictability because you see when you succeed usually men will believe you are lucky <laughs> but when your results become sustained there's no more luck there you don't become sustainably successful by luck gentiles can come to your light but their kings only come to the brightness of your rising this is true for any aspect of life politics and governance business ministry career family whatever it is provided you hold the keys the patterns that are responsible for that outcome i had the privilege of watching god's servant i couldn't make it and i was watching the 40th anniversary of the living faith and while i heard him preach at a point quite honestly i was not just listening to the sermon again i was saying i remember or i can imagine when the ministry was say 10 or 15 years probably he said after 40 years we'll still be doing this i'm sure there are people who said you are not sure but now after 40 years when i looked at papa copeland in his 80s speaking with such conviction i said patterns are dangerously powerful they look like they will fail but you will keep working with them for a long time and they will not fail the simplicity of patterns is why they are not trusted patterns are deceptfully simple if it be thou bid me come come he said and such a complicated issue like walking on water suddenly becomes child's play because someone learned to obey the master spiritual patterns give you predictability and sustainability let me tell you this 30 years if christ tarries 40 years if christ tarries you will still be standing and waxing strong and moving forward because you are not moving yourself forward there is an agency a combination of the spirit and understanding moving you forward fear your result if it just happened but if it happened by patterns rest leads me to the third point spiritual patterns give us peace and confidence it's one thing to have results but it's another thing to trust and to be secured in the results that you have peace and confidence isaiah 33 and verse 6 it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times when you have wisdom when you have knowledge it gives you stability you no longer are afraid of your results why because the some of you here are chefs some of you here are wonderful people when it has to do with cooking and the rest if you ask me now as anointed as i am you bring me ingredients and say quickly you are giving 30 minutes or two hours cook something you have to sign that whatever i cook you must eat it so that i don't know i'm i'm sure that i'm not wasting my time are we together I'll have to pray, except if the Holy Ghost just appears and says, add this. 
after 10 minutes at this it's not that bad but i think it's not good too i'm not <laughs> are we together yeah why it's not because the food cannot be made there is a lot of guessing you'll be surprised that salt may be the first thing i'll add <laughs> And then add any other thing mix them i'll just mix whatever the menu says and close it and say lord i hunt to you i commit this meal but there are some of you here even if we say cook for all of us even if it's for twenty thousand people all you need is space and time you will surprise us like you are cooking for one person because you are cooking out of knowledge you are not afraid of what you are doing the number does not matter the formula is the same are you seeing that now yes so you are no longer afraid of your results listen god is helping you to take away fear the moment you are afraid can i deliver can i not deliver that is a report card go back and become a master masters don't fear they, they are saturated by the ordinances that keep them on top they are secured by it When you say, God, help me, he doesn't say, ah, you're about to disgrace my name. We're talking of the ancient of days. He now says, Claire, let me see that challenge. God, I've never seen it. He said, it doesn't matter. I'm creator. I can take it out of the way. Mastery. We must fade away fear from our lives. Fear of producing results. God blesses your business. You make great gain and you're afraid because you are sure it will not last. The moment you are sure it's not, it will not last, you are right. It won't last. I'm called into ministry. What is the guarantee that I'll still be blessing people? What is the guarantee that if I stand on the crusade ground, the sick will be healed? What's the guarantee that if I speak, God is directing me and saying, I'm blessing people. I'm imparting someone. Ah, let me not announce it. Oh. What if I now say, your name is John and nobody comes out? What if I now say, God is giving speed and everybody is looking at you. No. It is a call for mastery. You go back and learn the ways of the spirit. How can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind? How can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit? How can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind? His power at work in you, changing everything in obedience to Christ. Tonight, swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the Spirit. Don't you know? In his hands are the keys to eternal life. It's a little here, a little there, and then your day will dawn. He's at work in you, changing everything in obedience to Christ. He's the Holy Ghost, he's the Holy Ghost, he's the Spirit of the living God. He's the Holy Ghost, the scepter of the King of Kings. He's the Holy Ghost, the seal of the age to come. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Rearranging everything. In obedience to Christ, you are building everything. In obedience to Christ. Please sit down. We have to pray. Peace and confidence. Leviticus 26 and verse 6. A scripture I found that blessed me years ago. Please read with me if you are a Christian. Ready? One to read. And I will give you peace in the land. Say amen. Let's keep reading. And ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will read evil beasts out of the land. Neither shall the sword go through your land. Peace. Why? Job told us the secret. 
that the Lord will deliver you from six things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. He said, because you have a covenant with the stones. Do you know what that means? That every manipulation of witchcraft depends on the elements of creation to work. But I have a covenant with them. So when you use them against me, they will not work. They were authorized to support me and not fight me. Whether you use water, whether you use the stones, whether you use the rocks, whether you use animals, there is a covenant between me and creation that no enchantment and no divination can stand. So I find rest. I can sleep with my eyes closed. Please sit down. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day. The noisome pestilence, the destruction, help them please, that wasted in noonday. There are all kinds of evils sweeping across our world. You get up in the morning, you are stretching outside, you just receive something you have no business receiving. You return back into a life of tragedies. Someone shout no way. And confidence many believers are afraid we pray out of fear we walk out of fear how am I sure that if I lose this job there is a way out how am I sure my destiny will be fine now that I'm 40 or 50 or 60 how am I sure they are not going to diagnose me with maybe kidney or prostrate fine rest I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you are God. Truly I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you are God. God is giving us peace and rest it used to be elderly people who have high blood pressure right now you see teenagers moving around talking as if they are 50 years someone who is 19 speaking foolishly what is wrong and he's not even aware may that spirit be far from your life far from your life in the name of Jesus Christ worry there are people who sleep, they have to take pills that are as full as my hand. In their, their teens, their 20s, their 30s, their 40s, it's almost killing you. Find peace. Mastery of the patterns of God. Can, you can secure his presence. You can know he's there. Waiting for a feeling is nonsense. You can know he's there. I will be still. Know you are God. We will be still and know you are God. But, Apostle, while I'm being still, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man, how shall these things be? How shall my life be lifted? Are you sure God will not disappoint me? Should I truly put all my eggs in one basket? If it is the divine patterns of God, you can die believing him, I assure you. But before you make boast, be sure that you are walking by his patterns. Because if you are not walking by his patterns, shame is imminent. But if by his patterns, then you can be sure that his divine power can give men all things that pertains unto life and godliness. Listen to me. God in this season is going to be challenging many of you to do a lot of things. Ambitious things. Daring things. He's going to give you instructions. You may do what you have never done in your life before. Find rest. Trust the patterns. Even if you do not trust yourself. For some of you, God will speak to you and say, Alright, by next month, start that building. And the only thing you have is 10 bags of cement. 
and a land you are still negotiating and God will say you go and get one trailer of sharp sand pour it there let the devil see it that the hand of Zerubbabel let me tell you this God can only become Omega if you allow him become Alpha if you refuse I initiate that dimension Lord you must be Alpha then he's guaranteed to be Omega write this down the Bible is a coded compendium of spiritual patterns the Bible is a coded compendium Bible is a coded compendium listen carefully the Bible is a coded compendium of spiritual patterns that lead to various kinds and various levels of extraordinary results I was teaching the school of ministry students I think it was yesterday and we were examining pneumatology and I was telling them that the Bible just because every kingdom has secrets are we in agreement every kingdom has secrets and the secrets are hidden listen carefully they can hide the treasures of the kingdom somewhere there can be coded doors some of the doors are even hidden in dimensions it's not a physical door you invoke you enchant things and then the doors appear they are hidden in dimensions planes of reality the bible this book you see is more than a book with information it is a compendium of coded secrets from the old testament to the new testament the gospels the epistles down till revelation it is coded and full of mysteries that control different levels of results just reading them intellectually may not grant you access to all of those coded information the bible says let me show you a scripture that will bless you very quickly and then we'll pray isaiah 29 please from verse 11 and 12 isaiah 29 verse 11 and 12 very quickly and the vision of all is become unto you as the words of what a book koinonia read with me a book that is sealed just because it is opened does not mean it is opened you can open your bible but it is still sealed which men deliver to one who is educated saying read this i pray and he said i cannot why for it is sealed next verse it says and the book is delivered to him that is not learned saying read this i pray thee and he said i'm not even educated in the first place what kind of a book is that that whether you are educated or not it doesn't mean anything as far as decoding the mysteries are there your life not prophetically directly is written in this book you are seeing believe me this is not just a prophetic statement it's a literal statement but until god opens your eyes you will find something that was written in the bible that has not been fulfilled by anybody and you will know you are the one it was written for not just to apply it prophetically directly but until god opens your eyes you will not see the messianic prophecy was written hundreds of years before jesus came many people saw it and they thought they were the ones to fulfill it but when jesus came in luke chapter 4 the bible says he was given the scroll of Isaiah for to read when he opened it he said the spirit of the lord is upon me when he was done saying it he said today this scripture is fulfilled that means i am the one this was written about you will be surprised to know how many things were written about you and your family until god connects the dots psalm 25 and verse 14 here it is the secret of the lord the secret of the lord god has secrets believers hear me god has secrets not everything is in plain sight the secret of the lord is with them that fear him the hebrew word yirat adonai the spirit of reverence is with them that fear him and he will show them listen there is a dimension of spiritual truth that cannot be studied you are initiated like occultism into that body of truth 
you cannot find it on your own it's the spirit of grace that will draw your hands and take you to that inner chamber of the spirit and you will see mysteries it says open down my eyes that i may behold behold wondrous things from out of thy law until then i'll just be reading the law but when my eyes are open then i will now see hallelujah matthew chapter 13 and verse 11 jesus was teaching and he said because it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom please look up these patterns as coded as they are they were encapsulated into a body of knowledge the bible calls mysteries please shout it after me say mysteries the mysteries of the kingdom what are they the hidden code of operation these are the body of truth that help believers to excel in light the body of truth are located for my victory and your victory they are called mysteries happy is a man that finds them happy is the man who God causes to approach him when you approach him he grants you access to these mysteries when you find it they are life to those who find them your life becomes episodes of wonder just when you think you have exhausted a dimension you will see another one unfolding Ephesians chapter 3 let's do a long reading and then we'll pray there was a man in scripture called Paul he later would become the apostle of the Lamb this was a man who was learned he was a Pharisee and then when he began to communicate certain depths of the spirit Paul noticed that every time as he sojourned mentoring and building the church even the very apostles of the lamb were concerned are you sure about these things you are teaching and paul said listen before i start my lecture i need for you to know the basis give it to us verse one for this cause i paul the prisoner of jesus christ for you gentiles reading to verse 10 if ye have learned of the dispensation of the grace of god which was which is given me to you word that means for your sake a measure of grace was given how that by revelation you see it there he made known unto me the mystery a body of truth was given to me as an apostle for the sake of a generation he's explaining now that as complicated as my thoughts are you need to understand that these are not fabrications of a pharisee's intelligence i was drawn like being initiated into a room and i was given a body of truth for a generation as i wrote afore in few words verse 4 it says whereby when ye read ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ 5 which in other ages here it is was not made known unto the sons of men wow these dimensions were not revealed to anyone it says as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit verse 6 that the gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of the promise in christ by the gospel seven whereof i was made a minister according to the gift are you seeing it there the gift of the grace of god given unto me by the effectual working of his power eight unto me who i am less than the least of the saints is this grace given that i should preach among the gentiles the unsearchable riches of christ two more verses and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God who created all things by Christ what do we do with these mysteries verse 10 to the intent this is why these mysteries are given 
there are arrogant principalities and powers that will not respect God nor the saints. So this mystery was given as a way of punishing the powers of darkness and forcing them to acknowledge the superiority of Christ to the intent that now to the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom when those minis, those mysteries manifest we call them the wisdom of god but listen to me they are a body of truth i'm praying that you will believe what i'm telling you and you will be surprised to see the way your life will change mysteries when you hold them like a bunch of keys you can find rest knowing that your life must become exceptional all you need to do is begin to travel when you stand before a door you check and remember the holy ghost is with you there what mystery opens that door and he says open this twice the mystery that opens this door is there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty you get to a door and the mystery that opens it is that you sow both bread and seed. Seed is for eating, bread is for sowing. But there are certain doors that both bread and seed together is what opens them. That you can cast your bread before the waters. And in this case, you will find it after many days. Then you open that door. You can get to another door. It says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy of praise. By doing that, I will be saved from my enemy. So when it is clear that defeat is imminent, you will back up like the days of Jehoshaphat. Write your prayer request on the ground and dance like a madman while people are sleeping over something you know has been concluded. And while that is happening, ah, the God of heaven. Allah is turning things around. Yeah. Allah is turning things around. At midnight, while the rest were sleeping, Paul and Silas said, you wasted your time by closing this door. You would have chained me in the days of my ignorance. But we are not just here as empty apostles. We know what to do. When they prayed, they saw angels. They said, get out of my way. I need God himself to come here. The Bible says they sang. They sang aloud. Because their singing aloud was putting pressure on his integrity. Suddenly, the one who sits on the throne, they sang it so beautifully. And even unto the Lamb, he arose and said, Nonsense, let me see the gate that is covering you. And he scattered it into pieces. Let me show you peace and rest that comes through master mastery the jailer took knife to kill himself he said don't rush this is a result we can reproduce again there's no point killing yourself when jesus resurrected he did not rush out of the grave no no there's no need rushing i rose up by myself what am i running for and he came out with honor and dignity i can do it again if need be i am the resurrection and the life Are you ready to pray I thought we'll have time so that I will share with you in my entire life I hope that we'll take it in some other series we didn't finish covering what I intended we'll cover tonight but there are nine of these mysteries that the Lord gave to me nine for an unbeatable spiritual life some of them whilst i learned them as i listened to our fathers of faith i had them saying the same thing expressing it in different ways nine when you find these keys you will stand and play life like you are playing a chess go this way go that way believe me i apologize if it sounds like pride behind results that work are these mysteries they are the defense systems of masters 
you stand and they become a garrison to you irrefutable backed up by the jealousy of god himself you can take it to any nation and take it anywhere people will think you are making noise till the result humbles them hear me we make our boast in the lord and on the strength of the mysteries we have held and these mysteries they are not for individuals they are for the body to be dispensed so that on the strength of these mysteries you can turn back and go rejoicing knowing that life can be at your command we command results intentionally i hope please do not miss any one of these i hope that god will grant grace and will touch all nine of them the mysteries that control fearful results in this life every student prepares for exams but it's the result that the marker when the lecturer marks they place it on the board you will come and see what you wrote there is that true how many of you remember people who will make a lot of noise after exam the answer is five the answer is ten whereas someone will just keep quiet as if he doesn't know anything that's the person you will see getting 95 97 and someone is making noise nonsense from morning till night and you find out that you will get seven or twelve god is bringing us to that place of mastery noiseless victory it is the results that will make the noise are you ready to pray prayer point number one lord i am tired of shadow boxing around my destiny i want you to bring me to a place of quintessence a place of mastery spiritually financially and otherwise please lift your voice and pray we came to pray a few minutes of prayer Are you praying? He that strives for mastery is not proud except he strives lawfully. The mysteries of the kingdom, controlling results, spiritual patterns, leading men to predictable outcomes. Hallelujah. Look up. Please, we are going to pray. As we prepare to begin to feast on these mysteries in the coming weeks, you are going to pray and say, Lord, open my eyes understanding is a real miracle i'm telling you then open he their understanding that they might understand scripture are you ready to pray lord open my eyes to see may i see what my father did not see may i see what those who have gone ahead of me did not see in the name of jesus please pray please pray in the name of jesus the christ of god Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Scripture says, He that told you have asked for nothing. The seed for receiving is asking. He said, Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. Listen, you're going to pray one serious prayer. Father, the door that stands before me now, what is the mystery that opens it? 
reveal it to me please lift your voice and pray. every door standing before us there is a mystery and there is a pattern in ministry the door of the next level for your spiritual life show me show me by your mercy the door to signs and wonders the door to increase and multiplication the door to influence and visibility the door to grace and power from on high hallelujah Praise the Lord. In the ministry of William Branham, of blessed memory, the Lord gave him a code and said, there is an angel that I will send to walk with you. And that every time his prophetic gift was to be opened and unlocked, he would have to wait until that angel came. And it was recorded that many times they would wait for as long as an hour. They will sing psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. They will be angry. They will stand there and say, I can do nothing. I was instructed that it is the coming of this angel that opens up my prophetic fountain. And later in the middle of nowhere, he will just say, wow, the angel has come. And within minutes, the time lag will be well paid for, justifiably paid for by the level of divine unction. For Samson, it was his hair not even his hands protect your hair as a nazarene it's not just something that rolls around your hair there is a mystery attached to it for the young lad and that crusade ground the mystery was hidden in five loaf and two fish whoever was careless with that five loaf and two fish will not only be stopping a young man from eating he will be stopping five thousand people from having healthy meals for many of you, God will give you certain secrets that for the next six months, your secret is your prayer life. Not just random as believers. Pray from 12 to 1. There is something I want to do. It's a personalized dealing. You miss out on that unique instruction, you'll be surprised how powerless you will be. Are we together? For Archbishop Benson, Ida Hosea, it was said that a time came, God gave him an instruction that 80% of his earnings would have to go was a sacrifice. But leaving off 20% made him so wealthy, he was so blessed, he was so visible, he went around the world 53 times. It is the divine strategy that is given to us that provides for victory. When you stand before Jericho, don't guess how to bring it down. Jericho is a fearful city. Five chariots can stand on the fence. You need a strategy. Because even if Jericho falls down, you still cannot pass. It will still become another fence. You need a formula. Sometimes it may not make sense. You will go around six times. Foolishly so. And then you go around seven times on the seventh day. And you will be asked to shout for some of you. And it is in that shout that Jericho falls down there are some of you God would tell you to go for a three days dry fasting dry means dry and it's in that fasting he will reveal to you the ordinances of the next level of your life for some of you God will give you very dangerous instructions some of you God will say for the next one week gather all your family members who are praying every day Whoever is sleeping should sleep in the parlor. They carry the person and bring the person out. And you are praying. That is the instruction. For some of you, your strategy is hold your peace and allow me fight. Step out of the way. Your worry is interrupting my battle. Just step back and allow me be the one who stands for you. Lord, what is the strategy on our way from Egypt leaving this place? I will come to you as a pillar of cloud by day 
and the pillar of fire by night if you don't see fire by night don't move if you don't see cloud by day don't move i am not there don't guess saul you are a king but you are not a prophet don't offer sacrifices and the people pressured saul they said look samuel is wasting our time we can't be here are you not a king and out of pressure he offered the sacrifices to god or not to an idol as soon as he was done samuel came and said saul you have done foolishly what did you do you would have allowed me come and god would have established your throne forever but now for violating patterns the throne is taken away from you god can ask you to carry a seed and give a man of god because you don't want it to leave your house you carried it and gave your child you did not obey that's that's disobedience listen i'm saying this because as you leave this place god will not leave you without a witness you will hear him and he will speak to you he will give you instructions he will tell you things some of them may be ego stinging but they contain in them the mysteries of the kingdom if you have the childlike approach to listen you will be surprised what will happen to you are we blessed for some of you god is going to give you instructions dust your cv and keep it have soft copies and keep it but i'm not applying for anything just do what i'm asking you to do a gentleman got a job by sending a text by mistake to a general he felt like dying because he knew that he had abused the privilege and the general called back he was afraid he said who is this I'm so, so, so I'm, I'm sorry sir I was to send it to somebody he said no no problem come and meet me in my office that became his job that was not a mistake it was the Holy Ghost directing him to his place of destiny don't choose who will help you allow God choose them you choose who will help you you, you will be punished by the vacillations of men's emotion I will help you today tomorrow they'll say I can't remember telling you that look unto God they looked unto him and their faces were lightened the Bible says we have to close let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus Christ we say amen to everything you are doing amen 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 to our lifting and to our rising amen amen as a family of faith we are receiving that prophetic word let it be so for us oh god visibility to influence to favor to speed to high level spirituality to fresh unction you are receiving we are not just singing one more time Testimonies come this week to multiply opportunities to open doors to the salvation of our loved ones. We say amen to exemption from kidnappers, to exemption from the, the scorching tongues of men. For the last time, as a family of faith. I want to make an altar call very quickly please let's keep standing just help those under the anointing our time is gone we've said amen to your salvation already we've agreed with God that tonight is your night of salvation you are in this place 
under the sound of my voice all the overflows right down to the basement outside following from whatever nation across the continents of the earth you are here and you are saying apostle i need to make it right with jesus for some of you you are saying i need restoration in my spiritual life doesn't matter what category you're here and then outside please rush come stand before me here it'll be my joy and pleasure to lead you to jesus let's celebrate them as they come win that war do not be afraid you're coming before jesus all overflows move to your projector stand move to your screens move to your screens those following from your homes your offices wherever i just want you to stand in agreement god bless you come come we're going to sing that song one more time amen to your salvation amen to a new season in your life koinonia is this how you celebrate salvation sing how Brothers and sisters, thank you. I salute you for the courage to make this decision. The Bible declares that whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. He said, ye must be born again. This is a family of faith. Doesn't matter how things have been, God is ready to give you a new beginning. Now for those of you in front, all of you following me online and then those at the overflows i'd like you to lift your right hand please let them come please let them come very quickly lift your right hand say after me very clearly audibly hear yourself saying it you're not reciting a poem jesus is here say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you came you died for me you were raised for my justification right now according to the authority of scripture i receive eternal life into my spirit by declaring that you are my lord you are my savior you are my king i declare that the power of sin of satan of the grave of hell is broken over my life from today i am a child of god i move forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted father thank you we present to you jesus the ones you died for it's an honor to lift them to you as trophies thanking you for your work on the cross i pray that the grace that keeps may that grace keep you the grace that lifts may that grace lift you in the name of jesus the son of the living god you go from glory to glory from grace to grace i commend you to the ministry of the word i commend you to the ministry of the spirit i declare you will never be the same from today and forever in the name of jesus christ you are blessed and you remain blessed forever now very quickly there's a gentleman smiling at you with a placard all of you please move to my right which is your left and they'll take you and just just have a few information and pray with you and you'll be back to your seat god bless you let's celebrate them koinonia hallelujah please do not miss i want to don't come here next week alone this is not just about increase god has been faithful to us but the things that you're going to be learning in this week that comes they are the mysteries of the kingdom these are very potent spiritual secrets and i want you to come with your heart expectant come ready to receive the lord will never disappoint you in jesus name i declare and i speak over your week beginning be blessed in the name of jesus a thousand shall fall by your side oh by the way i re i rebuke the spirit of death you will never be a victim of kidnappers. And all these people that keep killing and kidnapping people, may the earth open and swallow them. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus Christ. Be protected supernaturally. The wisdom of the Spirit is at work in your life. You're carrying superior unctions on your head. In the name of Jesus, go and return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.